Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallis hier. Heute wollte ich kurz über die Grundwortstellung in Deutsch sprechen. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about the basic word order in German. So, uh, what a, a few of what I am calling the Hauptregeln or the main rules. Number eins or number one, the verb is normally always the second idea in a statement or the second uh, word when you are making a statement in German. It may be the first if you are forming a question. The subject, however, will always be next to the verb. So, for example, ich trinke Wasser jeden Tag. So, ich is a subject, trink is the verb. This is a statement, and you can see that the verb trink, trinken is the second item in the sentence. If you are forming a question without a question word in German, then you're going to start with the verb. So, lernst du Deutsch jeden Tag? But notice the subject, du, is still next to the verb. And then thirdly, Deutsch studiere ich jeden Tag. If we want to emphasize something else, we can place it at the beginning, but then our verb must become must come second, and then our subject will immediately follow. So let's take uh, some looks at that in a minute. But before we do that, let's talk about some time expressions that answer the question, wie oft, or how often. Am Freitag, on Friday. Am Wochenende, on the weekend. Oft, often, manchmal, sometimes, einmal pro Woche, once per week, zweimal pro Woche, twice per week, nie, never, jeden Tag, every day. So, we'll look at some examples. Wie oft gehst du tanzen? How often do you go dancing? Ich gehe am Wochenende tanzen. Or we could switch it around and say, am Wochenende gehe ich tanzen. Okay. Wie oft spielst du Fußball? How often do you play soccer? Ich spiele jeden Tag Fußball. Or, jeden Tag spiele ich Fußball. You could even switch it around more and say, Fußball spiele ich jeden Tag. Wie oft gehst du einkaufen? How often do you go shopping? Ich gehe einmal pro Woche einkaufen. Oder, einmal pro Woche gehe ich einkaufen. So just remember the red is going to be our second is going to be our verb normally in statements it's the verb that a verb is the doing word or it tells the action that is taking place in the sentence the blue is a subject and will always be next to the verb whether it be on the left or right side depending on what you're trying to say the green could be a time phrase and uh, the yellow could be another noun. So, for example, you can say things like Ich spiele jeden Tag Fußball or Ich spiele Fußball jeden Tag, depending on what you want to emphasize. Jeden Tag spiele ich Fußball or Fußball spiele ich jeden Tag. So you can see German word order is pretty flexible. But there are some standard things, and that is when you're making statements, the verb will be the second thing. Okay. Das war's. Vielen Dank für das Zuschauen. Auf Wiedersehen.